Welcome back to BlackBronx.com. Today I'm going to show you guys another very exciting tutorial. Here I'm going to share with you on how to key out green screen in easy way with special method. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. First, I go to effects and presets panel and I type in KEY. Typically normal people always go straight to choose normal key light. But here I'm going to use special method which using this preset. Combination key light, key cleaner and advanced spill suppressor. I'm simply drag this effects to my green screen layer. You can see here it automatically apply key light, key cleaner and advanced spill suppressor to my footage layer. I'm starting to use eyedropper here and simply clicking on the green screen. And right away, it looked pretty good. There's a little bit of haze and we're still seeing a little bit of that bleed but right away it really looks quite good. Next thing I'm going to do is go back to my key light setting and go to view. I switch my intermediate result to screen matte. And it does to do it going to show us which area need to be key out for black, an area we want to retain which it going to be white. Next, let's remove nasty sort of pixelated gray here and also we're getting a little bit too much transparency on these kids. I'm going back to key light setting and hit drop down menu for screen matte and adjust clip black and clip white. Here I'm reduce the value down clip white until all my white area nicely fill in. I'm doing the same thing to clip black which I raise up the value until all the noise in black goes away. Perfect. Once we have that, we can come over to screen matte and switch back to intermediate result and now we looking good for matte black and matte white. Now it's starting to look really good, except we still have that green spill. I feel the key cleaner preset soft my edges too much. Just by turning off the key cleaner with the default result, you can see that the edges look so much better. First I want explain about key cleaner and advanced spill suppressor. Because one of the things that the key cleaner is going to do, it's gonna clean against a lot of those kind of rough edges. Here I noticed have little dark halo around these kids, so I go back my screen matte and adjust screen shrink slash grow. I reduce the value to negative 0.2 to shrink the border around these kids. I also increase screen softness value little bit to make it soft. Here you can see still got little bit green spill around these kids but don't worry. We going to fix it. Here the magic preset to solve this problem just by turn on the advanced spill suppressor. Now look pretty good. Before we go further step let's mask this footage to remove unnecessary object around the kids. First you need to select the layer first, and then go to tools menu and select rectangle and select area around the the kids. All the green screen is neutralized and gone. Here you can replace any background for your green screen layer and blend it together without any problem. Now let's create background for this footage. Here I'm hit Ctrl plus N to create new solid layer for my background. I just rename this layer as background and choose random blue color for my background. Then I hit OK. Next, I moved my background layer under the footage layer. Here you can see everything is perfect. Here is bonus part, let's blend together our footage with real background. I have some image background for my asset and I'm simply drag this layer into my composition. Next, we need to do some color correction for our green screen layer to match it together with the current background. I go to presets and effects panel. Here I type level and I choose auto level. I just simply drag this preset to my green screen layer. You will notice it automatically match my green screen layer with background layer in term of contrast and color balance. Next, I choose vibrance at presets and effects and drag to my green screen layer to make my color more pop up. I increase the value of vibrance until I feel it match with my background. Here the final result for this tutorial. This is super effective way to get clean green screen inside After Effects and you guys should be ready to rock to get much cleaner key ever have before.
This method is free and you don't have to purchase any plugin or separate softwares to do this. Anywhere I hope this tutorial help you guys out there. Thank you so much for join me today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell down there to get latest update. We'll see until next time.